Tiny seabirds that seem to cope against the odds with terrible weather, petrels are like fulmers or shearwaters in miniature. Two species breed in the UK, both with large populations, but they are birds that are rarely seen due to their distribution, their nocturnal habits when breeding, and their usual avoidance of inshore waters. They both migrate for winter and may be seen around our coasts anywhere on passage. Storm petrel and leeches petrel are both tiny all dark seabirds. They are basically black with white rumps and both tend to fly low to the water with fluttering flight, looking dwarfed by the waves. So if you spot a house martin like bird out to sea and realise that it is a petrel, how do you tell the two apart? Storm petrel is probably the most familiar of the two. About 26,000 pairs of stormies breed in the UK and Ireland, and colonies can be found on many small rat-free offshore islands on the Atlantic fringe, all the way from the Northern Isles to the Channel Isles. They nest in burrows or among rocks, either natural boulders or sometimes even in walls. They only come to their nest sites at night, but birds may be encountered out to sea nearby during the day. At other times of the year, storm petrels are most likely to be seen from land only by dedicated sea watchers or after storms when, exceptionally, birds can turn up looking somewhat lost at inland waters. A storm petrel is fractionally larger than a house martin, but the confusion can arise due to the all dark uppers with a white rump. Other than the rump, however, storm petrel is dark underneath as well, and the tail is normally quite obviously square. Storm petrel's bat-like flight is fairly direct and strong, at odds with its tiny stature and apparent delicacy, except when feeding, when it will flutter just above the surface with wings held high and feet dangling, sometimes pattering on the surface before pitching headfirst into the water to pick up morsels of food. When seen well, more colour details can be picked up, and rather than black, storm petrels can be seen to be sooty brown. The white rump is obvious and wraps around and under the tail, leaving a dark stripe up the undertail area. The wings are rounded and there is an obvious white stripe on the underside of the wing. The upper wings are fairly uniform, with just a slight paler edge to the wing coverts in worn birds, but this can only usually be seen on very close views. Leech's petrel is less well known, although perhaps surprisingly it is a much more common breeder, with about 48,000 nests. Even more than storm petrel, leech's petrel is restricted in its breeding sites with only a very few colonies. More than 90% of the UK birds breed on remote St Kilda, but this is still tiny compared with a single Canadian colony that contains over 3 million pairs. Next to storm petrel, leech's petrel is significantly larger, but even when size is hard to judge, the longer, narrower, less rounded wings give a different impression. The flight style is different as well, with a lazier, buoyant, nonchalant flight. Reminiscent of a tern or nightjar, it has a habit of changing speed and direction erratically, all quite different to storm petrel, and the flight action alone can identify the two species when you are familiar with them. When feeding, leech's petrel also flies just above the surface, but its wings are held flatter, and the bird almost walks on the water moving almost like a butterfly. The overall colouring is slightly lighter, appearing a greyish brown rather than black, and there is a distinct paler covert bar, which can be surprisingly obvious no matter how far away the bird is. There is no white bar under the wings. The tail is forked, and this can be very noticeable as well. Like storm petrel, leech's petrel also has a white rump, but the shape is different, especially when seen with the forked tail. The patch is not neat and square as on storm petrel, appearing more V-shaped, and it doesn't wrap right the way underneath the tail. A grey central line is often mentioned in field guides, but this can be a bit of a red herring. It certainly isn't always visible on birds in the field. Altogether, though, I find leech's petrel a more angular, pointy bird. So, to summarise the differences between the two, storm petrel is tiny, with rounded wings, bat-like direct flight and fluttering feeding flight with wings held up, pattering on the water. It is all dark with a square white rump, square tail and white underwing markings. Leech's petrel is small with pointed wings, 
erratic flight with butterfly-like feeding flight with wings bowed walking on the water. There is a paler covert bar on the upper wings and a V-shaped white rump and a forked tail with an all-dark underwing. There are several other petrels that are occasionally encountered in UK waters, although none is likely to be seen from shore. Wilson's petrel is the most frequent, but very rarely one is seen from land, but they are more likely to be encountered in southwestern waters on a pelagic trip. Swinhoe's petrel has mysteriously been caught by bird ringers at night, and several other species have been very rarely claimed historically, or from boats at the margins of UK waters. We will cover these rarer species in a future video.